Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're touring the fair home built by Toll Brothers Homes. At just under 4,000 square feet, this home has four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. This home is part of their Aspen collection in the Pomona subdivision. A little bit later, I'm gonna tell you why this exact home is so special and how you can purchase this home, including all the furnishings that you'll see. Now, I think you'll see right away why Toll Brothers picked this plan to showcase their model home. And it's because of how open concept this plan is when you first walk in the front door. And you will see just how open it is when we get to the main living and kitchen areas. As if that grand staircase to that open catwalk wasn't show stopping enough. Off to my left is a nicely placed office area with three panel barn door style doors. Just when I think barn doors are on their way out, I see a new design that I really like. What do you think about barn style doors? Do you think the design style has reached its end or do you actually like them? I think in this application and the design, they are not only very aesthetically appealing, but very functional for the space. I think I'd also have a hard time getting any work done in here. I'd probably be staring off through those three large windows. That's way too much distraction for me. Right across the entryway is a space that I've seen a huge uptick in clients looking for. Seems for the past few years, I've had numerous clients looking for a space for their elderly parents. They want a space that's almost like a second primary bedroom that's located on the first floor so that that person staying in the space doesn't have to navigate the stairs. They want a space that has the perfect combination of privacy and security. At the same time, they want their parents to maintain a level of independence. This bedroom checks all those boxes as it offers functionality and design. It's located right off the main entranceway and has the attached bathroom and closet so that everything is easy to get to. If this space is for an elderly parent, the only thing I may change is the tub for a low level walk-in shower. But this space certainly offers that privacy and independence my clients have been looking for. And if there's not a need for that, this space makes the perfect room for out of town guests. Right off this room is the powder room. I really like the design work in here. This unique oblong pattern wallpaper helps open up the space by running it all the way up to the ceiling. Just next to the powder room is a good sized coat closet. As we move further in, you really start to get a feel for how open the space really is. But before we get there real quick, my name is Adam Sanders with the Watchdog Realty Group, and I'm a real estate agent in the greater Houston area. I specialize in representing buyers during the new build process. As we breach this entryway, your eyes are immediately drawn up to the incredible heights in this living room by these tray ceiling wood accents. Thank goodness for the invention of LED can lighting because you do not want to have to get up there to change out those light bulbs. I also love how those custom draperies run the full length of those windows. This kitchen has some of my favorite design work that we'll get to in a minute. This floor plan really utilizes the footprint of this home in a really smart way. What do I mean by that? Well, just off the kitchen are some very functional and useful spaces. To the left is a great workspace. I really like the privacy it gives you, yet you're not far off from the action in the kitchen and living room. And next to this is a gigantic laundry room. With that little doggy bed staged under the countertop, I really like the design of this light gray small subway tile that runs from the countertops all the way to the ceiling. Custom counters here over the washer and dryer give you an abundance of space. But the size of that sink will really dictate what size dog you're able to groom in this area. There's no Great Dane washing going on here. Just out that door is the entry to the garage. Now, how do you feel about this glass panel door looking into the pantry? When I walked this home recently with a client, she said, I hate that glass panel. When I asked her why, she said, my pantry is always a mess. I don't want everyone seeing that. I hadn't really thought about that. Just one more area you would have to keep neat and tidy. I think a good option would be to frost that glass so you couldn't look right in. Moving back into this kitchen area, let's talk about all these beautiful design elements. 
We first start off with these custom double ovens surrounded by these light brown custom cabinets with gold colored pulls on the cabinet fronts. I love how these cabinets run all the way to the tall ceilings. While you will definitely need a step stool to reach those top cabinets, there is no shortage of storage in here. This is probably one of my favorite counter designs, which is a light colored quartz countertop with light gray veins running through. The veins are sparse, drawing your eyes to the ones that are there. I love how they added glass fronts to these end cabinets surrounding the custom vent hood. It just seems to add an element of elegance to this kitchen. As we move over to this designer five burner gas cooktop, you can see how they added the subway tile and a horizontal pattern running all the way up to the vent. Stepping back, all these elements really make for a complete, beautiful design. I keep calling these cabinets light brown and I'm sure there's probably a more accurate name for these cabinets, but every builder has so many design color options and I don't have that Rayman ability to remember them all. In a model home, just mention the model home name to the designer. Here we get a quick glimpse of the formal dining that I'll take you to in a minute. Finishing out this kitchen, they continued this large island with the light quartz countertops with this large front apron sink. Just off the kitchen is another room that could have so many different functions. Right now, they have set it up and designed it as a formal living with a really unique designed accent wall. Coming back in this area to the left is one of my favorite designs in this floor plan. First is the size. This is an eight seat table and you can see that there's still plenty of room in here. As we move up, this ceiling reminds me of an old church. The design work of the arched wood wrap beams and full wooden ceilings give the space an element of rustic elegance. Numerous windows help tons of natural light shine in on this space. Now, as I move back to the corner, I was really amazed at how the builder was able to pull off this unique space. Imagine for a minute, all of these seats are filled with your family and friends. Being in here gives you an intimate feeling of having that closeness with them. Yet, as soon as you get back out to this entryway, it opens right back up to the vastness in this kitchen and living space. Here's one more angle at seeing all of these design elements tied together to make up this beautiful kitchen. Right past that catwalk is a unique layout I think you will like that includes a media room. Moving back to this living room, one thing that I didn't mention before is all the seating areas that are available. The gray color of this built-in and floating shelves really complement that uniquely styled pattern tile. Now, we are moving back to the primary bedroom and bathroom. Here we transition from that beautiful pine flooring to high-end carpet. Walking in, again, your eyes are drawn up to the tall ceiling height to those custom wood beams and distinctive light fixture. You can get a feel for how enormous this bedroom is. It's designed with a king-size bed, nightstands, seating areas, and you can see there's still tons of space up to this wall of windows that lets in tons of light to light up all of the design work. Like this accent fireplace wall, paper wall, that kind of sounded weird. Accent wall, paper wall. Anyway, you're starting to get a sneak peek of this high-end design primary bathroom, which has a very cool shower feature I'll show you in just a second. In this bathroom, I love three different parts of it. The first is the color combination. I really like those lower gray cabinets paired with the copper faucets and the really cool pattern tiled flooring. Next is this walk-in shower. As we round this wall, you can see there is a double shower area. I love how it's enclosed, yet the glass panels allow for lots of light to come through. There's a seating area down on the other end, and this small multi-colored tile laid in a herringbone pattern really sets off the design work in here. As we move in, you can get a feel for just how large the shower is. I love how they encase this whole shower from floor to ceiling with this large gray tile. Moving back out of the shower is the third thing that I love about this bathroom, and it's this freestanding tub. Now, what this tub does is a couple of things. First, I think it's a cool focal point of this bathroom. And second, it separates these double vanities and helps balance them out on either side. Back off here is the water closet and the walk-in closet. 
Getting to the back of this closet, you get a good feel for the space. Now, if you come tour this home, I highly recommend you try out the shower. Not like take your clothes off and take an actual shower, but walk in it so you can get a feel for just how spa-like it is. As we get back to this bedroom, I just want to point out that that is a full length dresser and look at just how much wall space there is as we exit. As we make our way upstairs, I wanted to give you an idea of where this home is located. It's located in the city of Manville, which is about 17 miles south of downtown Houston. The Pomona subdivision is just a mere 10 minute drive to Highway 288, which not only runs straight north into Houston, but also straight into the world renowned Texas Medical Center. Manville is an up and coming area where we are seeing tons of growth. Now, as we get to the top of this catwalk, I wanted to give you an overview of this layout. We're gonna be starting by going off to the left and make a complete circle around to that sitting bench in the foreground. But first, one more look at the grandness of looking down into the living space from the second floor. My mind is always working through practical issues like how would I change out these light bulbs and those globe light fixtures? As I mentioned earlier, you can purchase this home fully furnished as you see in this video. If you want more information about that, you can contact me via email. My email is located below this video in the description. Toll Brothers will be discontinuing this floor plan and that is why this model home, fully furnished, will be for sale. The sales consultant told me that the Carmen plan will be replacing this floor plan soon. I'll be doing a video tour of that floor plan as soon as one is finished and ready for touring. Toll Brothers is currently offering 18 models on 65 different lot sizes. Square footage ranges from 2,700 square feet up to 6,000 square feet, and lot sizes range from 9,000 all the way up to 20,000 square feet. Toll Brother Homes will be in an exclusive gated section of the subdivision. On-site amenities include a state-of-the-art exploration zone playground, resort-style swimming pools with cabanas, a catering kitchen, outdoor living and fireplace, an event lawn, and fitness centers. There's some really cool design elements throughout this home. I always highly recommend to my clients who are building to take lots of photos and videos of design elements you like in these model homes because builders hire professional designers to stage their homes. As we exit the secondary bedroom, you can see that we have literally have come full circle. And off to the left is one of my favorite rooms in this home, which is the media room. I first wondered how they kept all the light from coming in here. Then I realized there's normally double doors hanging in this entryway. With all the traffic that comes in here, the builder decided to take the doors off. This accent wall is really fun and one I would recommend taking pictures of so you can replicate it later. This built-in and floating shelves are a nice touch to keep all of your movie snacks. I mean, after all, who wants to have to run all the way back downstairs to the kitchen? This gives you a sense of not only how tall this entryway is, but just how massive these light fixtures are. And you see that high landing straight across? Tell me that's not perfect to hang a giant spider during Halloween, am I right? These wrought iron spindles coupled with this custom white paneling really give this already grand staircase a high-end look. We're going to make one more trip toward the back of the house, but I'm going to make a pit stop to take a look at this tile that I forgot to showcase earlier. This tile has so much movement and really helps draw the eye to the backside of this island. It's just another one of the great design elements to this already gorgeous kitchen. We're going to make our way outside from the back door that's located here off the dining room. Stepping down, I really love how they have this area staged. With all of the seating here, you can see how much room is available for outside gatherings. Now, this tile work leading off the back patio is not something the builder would normally offer, but will be part of the sale of this unique home. I really love this extra outdoor seating space with the custom built pergola. Toll Brothers was named the number one home builder in Fortune Magazine's 2023 survey of the world's most admired companies. It has made this list eight years in a row. If you'd love to see a Toll Brothers home, my email is down below this video in the description. And if you'd like to see another home tour, just click the video on the right. 
And as always, thanks for watching.